Good evening, my true crime horror fans. I hope you're having a good night, and I hope you're preparing to finish off the holiday trifecta. We're running into the final stretch right now, finishing up with the new year. I hope you all are preparing and opening your doors for the abundance that the universe has to offer you. But this evening, my true crime horror fans, I have a true crime horror story just for you this evening. It is short and sweet right now because it is in the process of unraveling. It is about a very young couple that was expecting their first child, Savannah Soto, 18, and Matthew Guerrera, 22. And they had been together for a minute, obviously, and they had had some issues in their relationship. When the bad was bad, it was very bad. When the good was good, it was probably very good as those relationships go. They were trying to stick it out and make it work. They were very happy about the upcoming family member. They had the house baby ready. The family members were excited for the upcoming family member as well. Uh, the family on her side was probably a little depressed. They had just recently lost her 15-year-old brother, Ethan, to violence. And being 18 years old, they were probably close. And um, even though Matthew and her had had, you know, issues of uh, physicalness, fisticuffs, um, they definitely were working on accepting and trying to, you know, make, work things out and make, be a happy little family, I guess, in essence. So they were going to be induced. The whole family was going to go down there and prepare for the new family member and be there to greet them. There had been some issues with uh, who was going to be in the delivery room at the time. Matthew just wanted it to be the two of them. But Savannah wanted her mother in there. So I guess there was a little tragic arguing about that. Um, a girl does like to have that security of a mom and or somebody that you're close to to help you in there. It's always helpful. But I understand on Matthew's behalf wanting to keep his little family a private scenario situation. So they were getting ready to leave to the hospital, it looks like, on that day. And um, they had a little Kia that they were going to go in. Somehow or another, um, something tragic happened. They were found in the car. It looked like they had been in there for a few days. They had been pow-powed, each of them in the rear of their head so they wasn't sure if it was you know possible couple thing or it's not looking like that um some police are saying and it's so heinous that they're thinking that there may be you know capital charges even involved in the experience that happened to this young couple so on that day they were leaving early in the morning to go to the hospital to prepare for the delivery of the child the mother had called early in the morning and there was no answer. She thought that maybe they were excited, too excited and left, you know. So she ran down to the hospital as well with the family, being anxious for the new family member to arrive. It is something that most mothers will not miss, doctor's appointments, especially the one where you're being induced to have your very first child. So all the warning signals went up then. What's going on? How could this have happened? It was kind of like, you know, everybody suspecting that something had gone wrong right away. So they put out this clear alert, which means a person in imminent danger because she was supposed to be having the baby. So um, they started looking around. They were checking the uh, law enforcement look, was looking at their social media, checking cell phone records. You know how they do to try to triangulate the last place you were. And they were found within just a few miles of where they were last seen at their apartment house. And it turns out that they found some video footage of two suspects. One was driving their car that they were found in, and one had a dark colored truck. And there was somebody who had said that they possibly seen the person in the Kia and the person in the truck talking. So it looks like possibly we don't know. So they're investigating it right now. I will definitely keep you posted on that. Nobody, no child in the womb should have to be lost and no couple trying so hard to work it out and have so much to look for in life should have this happen in such a brutal manner. Um, they're saying that the 
Um, Matthew didn't have the best of friends and, you know, maybe didn't hang her out with the right crowd. But at that age, I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. God bless them and their families in this pain at this time. So with that, my Trues Clues crime horror fans, that was my horrible, horrible, horrible horror story for you this evening. With that being said, I love you all. Happy New Year's. And I'll see you on the next episode.